Welcome to another one of our vegan adventures videos. This is what I use to make my coffee. There's literally half a jar of hummus on the side here and on the top, so it's looking quite salty. Today we thought we would do a normal, healthy-ish day of eating. Recently we've only ate meal deals, we've only ate cereal. Yeah. But I wanted to show a realistic day, kind of what we eat. In a day. Hopefully I'll give you like a sense of what a normal vegan diet looks like. And I won't have a takeaway this time. Well, I will see, yeah. We're gonna go for, for breakfast. Porridge. Looks like you've got a lot of stuff laid out there. Yeah, this is what I use to make my porridge. So I prefer frozen fruit. I use the oh so simple original sachets. And I just use two of these. Because once you bulk it up with protein powder and milk, it's enough. And then I'll add my oat milk. This one's barely got any in it. So I use mama oat. Oh my gosh. If you've not had mama oat, get mama oat. So I don't measure anything. Like you probably see in John's where he measures everything. I don't. You kind of roughly know how much you have though, don't you? Yeah, I know. You can kind of tell. Normally I have about 250 milliliters of milk. Yours has got a very precise technique, hasn't it? You have to mix the things in in a certain order. And... Yes, you need to mix the milk with the porridge first and then add the protein powder in. Because if you add the protein powder in and the oats and then mix it with milk, it really tastes powdery. It's not very nice. So don't do it that way. Because John did it that way once. So I use this one, chocolate cookie. I prefer chocolate in my porridge. It tastes so much nicer. Put that in there and add the milk on top. This is the consistency you want. Yeah, I want it a little bit more. I like mine really runny. So when it comes out the microwave, it's still like this. So I'm gonna put my um, fruit in the microwave for like a minute and a half. This is what it looks like out of the microwave. Dour it just to make it, oh, it's hot. This golf spread. So that's about 11 grams-ish. Get this bad boy. And pull that. And that is my Biscoff chocolate porridge, which I'm going to demolish. And uh, I think with some of the things we'll show today, it's not what we eat every single day, but you eat this. I eat this very much every day. When was the last time you didn't eat this? I don't even know. I don't remember. I eat it a lot. Right, so for mine, I'd say arguably more simple, but it seems more complicated. We've got one banana, which I'm gonna mash in a pan. Then I do protein powder next. Again, good for protein, also adds some extra flavor to it. And then I mash the banana into the protein powder. Ooh. This is a fancy technique. This will kind of depend on like what I'm doing for the day. Like if I'm going out for a big bike ride or a big run, I might have more. But normally I have about 75 grams of porridge oats. So I'm going to add some apples. This is two apples chopped down. And some almond milk. Mm. Unsweetened Sainsbury's. For the milk, you really want to add twice as much milk as you have protein powder and oats. And then mix it all together. And we've got this nice mush, which I'm gonna put on the hob for like five minutes and let it cook. All right, the porridge is nearly cooked now. I'm just gonna add some blueberries. There was more, I just been eating them while I was cooking. Also going to add some flaxseed and I've got some peanut butter on toast on the side. There was only one bit of bread left. It's the crusty piece, big bowl of mushy porridge, which tastes way better than it looks. Peanut butter. On toast, can't get it wrong. Like I said, if I was going for like a bigger exercising day, I'm not doing anything today, so this is fairly small. I might have twice as much toast and like an extra 25 grams of porridge oats. But for today, this will be perfect. You know this is supposed to be a healthy, what we eat in a day video. This is healthy. You're only 84 calories. Right, something like that. There you go. That's healthy. Little snack. So we need to keep you going. Yeah, I'm starving. Look how cute they are. What are you making now then? So I'm gonna make pitta and hummus falafel pitas. So I'm gonna make the pitta, put the salad in it, put the hummus in it, add the falafels, blah. Sounds good. How many pitas do you want? Uh, I might just have one and then have like my salad on the side and then just like take a bit of the salad in the pitta, you know? Yeah. It'll make sense. You okay there, hun? Yeah, I can 
see Nicole's tasty pitta. It's like a, it almost looks like a meatball sub from this angle. It does, doesn't it? What are you putting on top there? Salad cream on my salad. Fine. <laughs> Vegan salad Vegan cream. Vegan cream. If you haven't had it, try it. You, we only had that about a week and you had the whole thing. Do you want a salad cream on there? Never enough. I've kind of gone for the salad with the pizza and the hummus on the side. There's literally half a jar of hummus on the side here and on the top. I'm gonna like use these to like scoop up the food and then just directly in the mouth. And uh, Dr. Pepper with some ice on the side. This is a very summery lunch because it's a nice summery day. Yeah, it is. Excited? Excited. Hey, welcome back to our dinner, evening meal, supper, whatever you call it. <laughs> um, we've got a few things going on. So we've got the nice three tiered. Oh, this is for the dog. No, I've done that. Oh. It's not real warm, I just put it on. Let's see, what's this? Um, so we've got carrots, broccoli, and then also well, the top there is just the leftover bits that I'm going to give to the dog. Hmm. But she's fussy and she doesn't like carrots that aren't steamed or peeled or whatever, so we're going to let them steam in there while we make our main meal. Well, we like to call it rice and veggies. I guess kind of like a stir fry sort of thing, so with rice instead of noodles. So I've just got some onions and I let them cook down. And I'm going to have tempeh in it. So tempeh is really good because it's like high in protein and a nice texture but it doesn't taste like anything it's just really plain so you can kind of just flavor it how you want so what i've done is i've chopped it up into little cubes put it in this container and i've put salt and pepper turmeric garlic granules and uh, some like bragg's liquid aminos which is kind of like soy sauce but it tastes nice in there and then like shuck it around and then just let it soak in there for like 10 20 minutes so what we'll do as soon as we're ready to cook it we'll just add it straight to the food and it'll already be flavored um, so I've got the onions cooking, I'm going to have some mushrooms as well and then also add some vegetable rice because this should make quite a big meal I think. She found a fly. This is going to eat a fly. My mushrooms and onions are nice and cooked down. I've used a bit of water to cook the onion in and then the mushrooms I already washed them and I always find the mushrooms like give up a load of juices anyway so you don't need uh, oil so I'm going to add in the temper. It smells quite nice. So it's looking quite saucy. Normally it's very like white coloured. So you can see the sauce has obviously gone in. So we'll mix that in. I would also normally cook the rice in the pan with the food, but I don't know. It's looking a little bit full, so I might have to microwave the rice for a change. We've got a massive bag of nutritional yeast to put some on top. Um, it'll probably just take about 10 minutes for the carrots and the broccoli to cook and the rest of this to cook. And then we'll show you what it's looking like. Mm. Nicole's got her under all this tomato ketchup somewhere. I love ketchup. Mine's underneath all this mustard. Look how good it looks. It does look quite nice, doesn't it? I'm impressed. We could have done with like something more colourful in the meal, but we've got like lettuce on the side to do like little lettuce wraps. Mm. Carrots, broccoli. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. I'm impressed. Did I do good? You did, because when you said rice and veg, I was like, boring, but it's a good rice and veg. Okay, so that's kind of our day of eating done, except for Nicole, who's got Magnum. a vegan Magnum from Asda. Mm -hmm. Asda do their own vegan Magnums now. They're amazing. Um, we did a review of it on our TikTok, if you want to check that out. Have a uh, look. Yeah, check us out on TikTok. What's good idea, on TikTok? Really, I think it's our vegan adventures. Smart. Our Adventures, on, adventures TikTok. on TikTok. I'll put a link in the description as well if you want to yeah. check us out down there if you are so inclined. Uh, let us know what you thought of our video today. It's kind of different than our usual video. It's a little bit healthier. Nicole was just saying how, well, I was going to say you were saying how full up you were, but. I am really, really full, magnum. but I have a second stomach. Everyone that follows us knows, John, I have a second stomach for my dessert. But I am very full. I've not felt this full on so much food in my life. No, probably only about 2,000 calories-ish, mm. maybe 2,000 to 2,300, I think, depending on sources and stuff like that. So yeah, overall pretty good day. So mm. what do people need to do now, Nicole? If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe, please. And we'll be back for more videos soon. Bye. Before making our own breakfast, it's very important that you feed your dog so it doesn't just whine in the kitchen while you're cooking. What have you got for breakfast today, Jesse? Do you wanna... 
Can I talk us through? No? Too busy? Before I used to be like, two sachets, what a joke, and I'd have like five, but time's changed. And a bit of skull on the floor. Just so. Um...